rationalize the denominator of the following fractions. 6 over 5 plus the square root of 2. When we have multiple terms, and we have two terms in a denominator, and one of the terms is irrational, in this case the square root of 2, what we do is we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator. So the conjugate just changes the sign in the denominator. So I'm going to take that 5 plus the square root of 2, and I'm going to multiply it by 5 minus the square root of 2. And I'm going to do the same thing in the numerator. So that would give me 30 minus 6 times the square root of 2 in the numerator. In the denominator, I would have 25 minus 5 times the square root of 2 plus 5 times the square root of 2 and then minus the square root of 4. So that's 30 minus 6 times the square root of 2 over 25. Now notice what happens here. Those middle terms add up to 0. They go away. And I'm left with 25 minus, the square root of 4 is 2, 25 minus 2 is 23. So I have 30 plus, minus 6 times the square root of 2 over 23. Four plus seven times the square root of two over five plus the square root of six. Using a similar idea here, I will multiply the denominator by five minus the square root of six and the numerator by that same quantity. So that would give me 20 minus four times the square root of six plus 35 times the square root of two minus 7 times the square root of 12 over 25 minus 5 root 6 plus 5 root 6 minus the square root of 36. Now in the numerator there's not much I can do, but I gotta be careful about one thing here. That square root of 12 is this, 12 is 4 times 3, so that's the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. So that's 20 minus 4 root 6 plus 35 root 2. Now, the square root of 4 is 2, so I have 7 times 2, 14 times the square root of 3. In the denominator, the middle terms again combine to 0, and I have 25 minus 6, which is 19. Seven minus the square root of a divided by four plus the square root of a. To rationalize the denominator, I will multiply it by four minus the square root of a, and I'll multiply the numerator by that same quantity. So that would give me 28 minus seven times the square root of a minus four times the square root of a plus the square root of a square. And the denominator would be 16 minus 4 root a plus 4 root a minus the square root of a square. Working with the numerator. 28, I've got some like terms, like radicals I should say, so that's minus 11 square root of a, and then plus the square root of a square, so that's a plus a. Denominator, like radicals again, go to 0, and I'd have 16 minus a.